Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm in Mountain View, California today, and I'm fitting at Western Ballet, and I'm hanging out with Ronnie, who is my very first point shoe fitting of the day. And today, Ronnie came in because her point shoes were pulling you back a little bit, right? Yeah. The shoes that she's in right now is quite hard. Um, Ronnie does have pretty great flexibility in her ankles, so she can get over shoes, but because the shoe is a bit too hard right now, it's pulling her off. This is one of the most common reasons why dancers can't get over on point. It's not always the solution to just go to a softer shoe. She can probably wear a lot of different shapes in terms of the point shoe shape, but uh, we wanna make sure that she's in a shoe that's soft enough so, so that she can articulate through her feet a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you the shoes that she's in right now. Okay, stand up for me. You can tell that she's tilted back a little bit. So even though she has pretty great ankles right here, the shoe is pulling her back and I can actually put my finger down a little bit at the top, um, at the bottom of her platform. It's very hard to get over on her point shoes just like that. So right now you can't tell as much because she's static. She's just standing on, on first position, but when she's in class, it pulls her back even more because when she's stepping onto PK or when she is um, doing turns, then it's kind of hard to get all the way over on the platform. And that means that Ronnie can't balance as well because she's balancing just in the back of the platform. Ronnie has really great shaped feet, so she has a lot of different options, which is very easy for me. <laughs> Uh, can I see that shoe right there? Yeah. So one of the indications to uh, figure out if you're not getting over on your point shoes or not is how you wear out your point shoes. So if you look at the bottom of the platform, it's worn out a lot more in the bottom right here than in the top. So the top part of this platform is actually pretty clean. So we want to make sure that um, the shoe is wearing out evenly. You're not wearing it out on the bottom or too much in the top or on either side of your point shoes. So how you break your shoes actually tells you a lot about how you're dancing in class. So whenever you're getting a professional point shoe fitting, you definitely want to bring in your old point shoes so you can tell how, the fitter can tell how you're dancing in class. And even though the box is getting kind of squishy, um, the shank is still quite stiff. So she's not bending the shank at all. Um, so I'm going to try a different shoe and we're not actually going to go to a really soft shoe because I don't want Ronnie to go through point shoes too quickly. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to a three quarter shank. So that means that the shank is going to be pretty hard up until this point right here and then it's going to be soft from here back. So it's going to really help her push her over onto her platform. Go ahead and put these on for me. The shape is a tiny bit different, but it's not too different than the one that she has right now. So the platform is slightly smaller, but not so small that she's going to have to relearn how to balance. Okay, stand up for me. First position. Very good. Demi plie. So even though she has really great shaped feet, she does have a tendency to sink a tiny bit if the platform is too big. So I definitely wanted to keep her in something that was slightly tapered. Bring your left foot up on point the press up on both feet. So you can see that she's getting over much easier on these. And I will show you, come down for me, bring your left foot up on point. So at the beginning, this shoe is a little bit more stiff, but we want the shoe to bend right here. So this is where the, three, the, the shoe bends. So even though it looks like a full shank, it actually gets soft right from her arch back. So it's a lot easier for Ronnie to get over on her point shoes. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna peel this back so you can see. So right now this is not bent because it's a brand new point shoe, but uh, we're going to push it down. You can, the way that you're going to bend it, you're just going to bend it right where the arch is. So it's going to go right into that arch and then you're going to be able to get over a lot easier. Okay, so we're going to put that back up and then step up onto point. Very nice. So now she's getting over all the way. So um, I'm not compromising the longevity of the point shoes with Ronnie because I still want it to last a long time. So I'm gonna give her a harder shoe, um, but just soft in the shank, and soft in the three quarter shank. So that's an option for you. If you don't wanna go to a shoe that's too soft altogether, to, um, then we definitely can go to like a three quarter shank. So it distributes the weight a little bit uh, back to the heels. So this is what we're going to do for Ronnie today. This is probably not the shoe that she's going to end up with. I, I think that when she's a little bit older, she'll probably go back to a full shank that is 
a little bit harder. But for now, I think it's the most important to be able to get over on your point shoes all the way. So we addressed that issue today and also making sure that she's not sinking into her point shoes and she's very comfortable. Um, if you have any questions about your point shoes, you can leave that on the comments. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, we're in Oakland, California right now, but um, I'm going to be in Salt Lake City next week. So if you guys are in, uh, if you guys are in Salt Lake City, if you guys are around Valley West, then I will see you guys there.